I'm Santosh Gadankar. Today I'm solving the problem of dynamic sum machine. In the dynamic sum machine, I'm focusing over the static equilibrium problem. This is the problem they have given it. I will consider the scale. Scale 1 centimeter is equal to 10 mm. 30. First, I will construct the 30 here. ED is 30. AD is 30 that is 3 centimeter 30 divided by 10 is nothing but 3 centimeter 30 divided by 10 is nothing but 3 centimeter here I have taken 3 centimeter next AB is 40 but I, they have made an angle 120 angle is 120 there angle is 120 but it is 4 centimeter that is 40 mm That is 40 mm. And next, BC is nothing but 6. 60 mm is nothing but 6 centimeter. Six centimeter. Next, CD is nothing but 50 mm. Join this point. This is C. Now from E to D is nothing but 20 mm. E to D, D to E is nothing but 20 mm here. Cut an arc of 20 mm. Twenty mm arc, cut an arc of twenty mm. Now, the important part is here. Just extend the line. This line has to be extended. If it is, if this portion is one twenty, then this will be what sixty. This will be sixty. It is in this way. If this is one twenty, if you draw a line, it will be what. 180 complete 180 180 minus 120 something but 60 degree this is 60 degree now what is the angle here then you have to draw a line from the mathematical point of view if that whatever the angle is here that angle is equal to this angle 60 degree 60 degree okay just I will draw a line here now this is 120 this angle will be 60 then mathematically if this is 60 then this angle is 60 I'll draw 60 degree here sixty exactly parallel to this one now if I measure this angle this angle will be 120 now. This angle will be 120. 120. This is the important part here. This is E. This is E. 30, 40, 60. This is nothing but 50 mm. This is 20 as per the scale. Now the angle will be 120. We are finding the torque. I will draw the free body diagram for this one. This is 40. 40. I will complete the free body diagram for this one. This is 40. 
we know this link I will draw a line ah, before this one go for naming one link one these are the fixed link this is link two link three link four now go for identification of forces f one two f two three f three four f one four now this is nothing but what f one two but we don't know the direction because it is a hinge part but f3 we know this part but the reaction acts here next is link 3 i will consider the link 3 here 6 cm 6 cm the link 3 6 cm link 3 will be 6 cm here Six centimeter, and whatever force act here, this will be F two three. The reaction will be done. Next, I will consider this link four, exactly parallel, but five centimeter. I will draw here five centimeter. This is five centimeter, and uh, from this link it is 20 mm I will consider 20 mm 20 mm and this link going to push this link this link going to push this link at this point I will draw a line parallel to reference to this one this is the force this is the force which acts here 120 angle f is equal to 100 newton now this is nothing but f f 3 4 and this is nothing but f 1 4 now just extend this part till it touches the f 3 4 part and join this part this is nothing but F 1 4 this is the force this is F 3 4 now based on this one you have to draw the force polygon now I will consider the scale here scale 1 cm is equal to 20 Newton for this one 20 Newton is nothing but exactly parallel I will draw 5 cm here 5 cm I will draw five centimeter I will draw five centimeter be no arrows here in this direction arrow is our direction next I will consider 3 4 here. I will draw 3 4. Next, 1 4. I will draw 1 4 from this point. from this 1 4 this is f 1 4 f 3 4 if arrow is in this direction the next arrow will be in this way and next arrow will be this way now measure this one this will be 1 point 1.3 this will be 1 point 3 if you measure it, it will be 1.3 or 1.4 something in that case. I will consider 1.3 here. 1.3 into scale is nothing but 20. 1.3 into 20 is nothing but 26 Newton. 1.3 into 20, 
ट्वेंटी सिक्स न्यूटन ट्वेंटी सिक्स न्यूटन वंस वी न्यू द डायरेक्शन ऑफ थ्री फोर इज इन दिस वे थ्री फोर इज इन दिस वे द अपोजिट डायरेक्शन बी इन दिस वे ये ऑफ फोर थ्री इन ऑर्ट टू बैलेंस दिस वन द नेक्स्ट आर विल बी हियर इन ऑर्ट टू बैलेंस दिस वन द नेक्स्ट आर विल बी अपोजिट डायरेक्शन द रिएक्शन विल बी ऑफ थ्री टू नेक्स्ट जस्ट ड्रॉ ए लाइन पैरल टू दिस वन बट इन अपोजिट डायरेक्शन एरो शुड बी इन अपोजिट डायरेक्शन एरो शुड बी इन अपोजिट डायरेक्शन Now find out the height. Find out the height. It should be perpendicular to this one. Perpendicular to this one. Perpendicular. If you measure the height of this one, it will be three point nine. It will be three point nine. H is equal to three point nine. It should be perpendicular to this one. Three point nine. Now find out the torque. If it is rotating anti-clockwise, the torque has to be applied in clockwise direction. Now, now, e f three two is equal to e f two three is equal to e f four three. Four three. Now, t is nothing but what? T is nothing but e f three two into h. What is three two? Three two is nothing but twenty six into three point nine into scale you have to do. What is the scale you have taken it? You have taken ten as a scale here. Into ten. If you multiply the values, twenty-six into three point nine into ten, you will get one zero one four newton mm. And divide by thousand. Divide by thousand, you will get one point zero one four newton meter in a clock direction. I am Santosh Kaidankar. Thank you very much.